now let's talk about another entry point in client script which is validate insert if you have already watched my another video on validate line it is almost similar to the validate line this gets triggered when you click on the insert button on the sub list so this actually carries the same kind of parameter context which has access to your current record and the sub lists of that particular record and also it expects always some return value you don't specify any return value it will consider it as false it will make the line as invalid now if you see the script i just have one console which actually says validate insert triggered and the code is all the same code which i used in validate line so this just gets the current item value on the sub list and matches whether the item is matching with this particular item id if it's matches i will commit the current line and i will try to insert a new line if the value doesn't match with this 252 item ID, I will not allow the user to commit that line itself. So in order to make sure only my validate insert entry point function gets triggered, I have actually commented out other entry points. Okay, I have already uploaded this code actually in Netshoot. And this is the script record which got created. And I can see Netshoot has detected the validate insert function. This has been deployed on sales order. So we're gonna try creating one sales order. Let me just navigate and click on enter sales order and let me open the browser console so that we can see our console.log code in our browser console. Now if I just scroll down and select item, so handcrafted queen bed is nothing but this particular item which has the internal ID 252. So which means if I select this particular item, I have to click add. Now if I just go back to this particular line, so now if I try to click insert. So when I click on this particular button insert, what happens is it just adds a new line above this existing line. So this is how the validate insert gets triggered. If I just click on this insert button, it will validate this line and then it will try to add a new line above this line. So let me just click on this insert button. You can see on the right hand side, validate insert is getting triggered on this line. The item ID is 252, which actually matches with my condition, which is all good. Now if I, let's say in this item, I try to select some other value, let's say platform bed. Let me leave the quantity as it is and I'll click OK. Now, on the platform bed, which is not the right item, if I try to click insert on this line and whenever I click insert on this, it validates the current line. Right now, as per my condition, this is not a valid item, so it will not allow me to add a new line. I mean, above this existing line. So let me just click insert. And on the right hand side, I can see item ID is 251, which does not match with our condition. And I can see the alert. It says use valid item and I'll click. OK. And if you see, it's not adding a new insert line because this is not a valid scenario. I just change the item to valid item. Now let me click insert after selecting the right item. Let me click insert. Now I can see the line item is getting triggered at the first time. You can see that this particular insert button is not even enabled and you can use the insert on the existing line item you have to first add the line then this insert button appears so that is where you can use this insert validate insert but if you want to make sure the validation happens the moment you add this particular line as a fresh line you have to make use of validate line function which actually gets triggered the moment you click add or ok on this new line or even existing line